G'day everyone, B Asian Dad here. Today we're here to do a review on the Dell Latitude 5491. But first, if you can help support my channel by giving a like to this video, or even better yet, subscribe to my channel, would be fantastic itself. Now, this laptop itself is uh, your typical common business laptop. Um, it's pretty much a workhorse that can be very configurable. It's Dell's version of their eight generation Intel Core chips um, and you can actually do a fair bit of configuring to this one, this laptop itself. Now this laptop can go up to 32 gigs of RAM. Um, I think it starts off with about 8 gigs of RAM but probably advisable for 16 anyway for your typical work and stuff like that. Um, this thing does, this current version doesn't have a graphics card in it but you can configure the GeForce MX 130 in these ones so it can actually run a graphics chipset there for a little bit more graphics intensive work itself. Now this one weighs around about 1.8 kilos um, so it's pretty much smack in the middle of your laptops itself. It's not ultra heavy, it's not ultra light neither itself. Now let's have a look at the ports on this um, laptop itself. So on the right side we've got the headphone jack, we have a USB 3 with power share, VGA port, the noble wedge lock was where you put the Kensington lock in. Back in here we've got the Ethernet port, uh, some vents for the heat to escape. Uh, this is a SIM card, we've got the HDMI port, another USB 3 port, put your AC power in there, around the other side. Uh, we've got USB type C. Now this particular model I've got here is only a display port over USB type C. You can spec these up to have Thunderbolt 3 in them. Uh, another USB 3 and a full size SD card reader here. And that's about all there is on this thing. And I can see the power button is located on the top right hand corner by itself so pretty easy to access. This notebook also has an internal battery. It is removable but you've got to take out the screws to actually get them. The screen itself can go to 180 degrees angle. It can't go beyond that. So it's not one of those flip into a tablet screens. You can spec these up to have a touch screen. See this is a 14 inch model. Um, you have a, your normal typical keyboard for laptop keyboard itself. It's pretty rugged itself. Uh, these things are built to do a lot of work and a lot of pounding itself. Uh, you've got your typical webcam on top there so you can do video conferencing or any video recording itself. Uh, we've never had any major issues with these and we have a lot of these running around uh, in our business itself. So one of those typical warhorses that just keep moving along so you can get your work done itself. Now as you see that's one of those laptops that has no frills uh, but that is also one of its advantages is having all these normal ports on the laptop so you don't have to buy dongles and carry dongles around for you going to do your work conferences or moving around to ports places itself. Uh, yeah. Anyway that's my review on the Dell Latitude 5491. I hope you enjoy the review itself and just remember the imperfections makes life beautiful and interesting. I'll catch you next time.